Alright, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of Two and a Half Studios, and welcome to a video about something you may not have heard of before in Game Maker. This isn't going to be about any uh, game changing feature they uh, added or anything, no pun intended, but I, this is actually something that I found out rather recently when I was uh, preparing myself to make, I think, the Grids video. And when it comes to certain data structures, you have these things called accessors. And what they are are basically shorter ways of accessing the contents of data structures without having to deal with the whole long typing out of the line of code of dsmet find value or something like that. They don't have these for all data structures, but what you would do is you would shorten it to a form not unlike an array. So you'd have uh, indices, and in the case of a map, you would uh, lead off with a question mark and the key that you're using. And uh, let's see, in this case, the key would be O. And I'm going to save this real quickly. All right, faster than that, please. This isn't that hard. Thank you very much. And run the game. And as you can see here, I have the exact same output that I did uh, if I were to have the uh, the fully written out line of code here, except it's uh, in far fewer characters. And uh, just for comparison, this is how the game works when you have the full line of code. That took a lot longer to run than it really should. I should check to see if there's anything running in the background of my computer. Anyhow, um, like I said, not anything game breaking or game changing or whatever it was that I said, but it is a lot less typing and uh, I do think that for a lot of people, myself included, who aren't fans of typing uh, a lot of code, doing something like that will uh, save quite a bit of time. Uh, this only works in Studio, by the way, not in 8.1. So that is one of the things that they added to Studio that um, I'm a bigger fan of. Um, uh, going around here, is there anything? Yeah, I could go around and change a couple lines of code to the, uh, the accessor notation, but I'm not going to do that. Anyhow, uh, grids are the other, um, the other structure that it works with. Uh, the calling is similar. Let's see. Let's um, let me try to remember how I uh, how this thing even works. Okay, so let's uh, let's go into this grid spot object, and this is where everything is drawn on the screen. Uh, this, as you can imagine, access as, as you can imagine, accessing a single uh, entity inside a grid data structure uh, won't do you very many good in some situations because there are functions that let you access multiple cells. But in some cases like this, when uh, when you just want to get a single value, instead of saying ds grid get, uh, you could say grid, and uh, this time instead of a question mark, we're going to lead off with a pound sign, uh, no comma there, i, j, and that's it. And uh, if I were to save this and run the game, I don't actually have to uh, save the project file, I just have to uh, hit F5 to compile, but I'm a compulsive saver, so... Here we are, we have the exact same, um, I think I can hit some key on the keyboard to load the game, but I don't know. Um, I can select a region, uh, we're going to make the value, I don't know, 100. And it works exactly the same as it did before, just with a little bit less typing in, uh, in situations like this. So, uh, that's the grid, and the last one, like I said, this isn't a thing for all of the data structures in Game Maker, but... Let's see. That's uh, that's maps. I don't. I'm not interested in that. All right. So here I have basically the inventory uh, lesson in the series of Game Maker projects, and it's uh, it's been slightly modified so that it uses uh, lists in place of the uh, the array structure. Now, when you collide, you add a uh, an entity to the inventory. That's all good. Uh, and when you hit the I key, you find a value, and this is a big long line of code. So you could say uh, instead of this list find value, which is a lot of typing, you could say uh, inventory uh, add the brackets, and here you're going to put a pipe symbol. That's the one above the backslash, right above the enter key. Um, so shift backslash uh, space and then uh, the index that you want to access, so zero. And we're going to run this here. Uh, we're going to move this so that we can see the code, not for any particular reason, just uh, just that I kind of want to, and uh, I'm going to hit the I key, and uh, it acts on it, just as it would if um, just as it would if I had written this full line of code out. So those are accessors for you. I kind of have a suspicion that in future versions of Game Maker, they're going to add a couple more. Uh, right now, currently, as I record this video, they're on version 1.4, maybe on a hypo hypothetical version 1.5, uh, 
or maybe in Game Maker 10 or whatever they make after Studio. Let's get that off the screen. They're going to add accessors for things like uh, stacks or queues or priority queues or whatever. But that's just a little trick. If you're able to remember, it should be able to save you a decent amount of time and typing and things like that. I'm not going to have any files for download in the description of this video. I don't think they're that important, and this is one of those things that the best way for, uh, for anyone watching this to get used to with accessors is going to be just messing around with them on your own. But that's it for me here. I hope you all enjoy that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch my other stuff I have uploaded, and I will see you all later.